I forgot they changed how this works. No wonder it ate through everything. Stay here to increase the security a little bit. Actually, right. No, there's no companions that have stewardship by default, because why would there be? It's not like you need some of that. Look at that, we were staying in the settlement, the guy won a, won a tournament battle. Noise. Actually, let's, uh, let me go run here real quick, see if we can maybe run a different helmet piece. It's gonna look good. Ten. Uh, the hood doesn't really look good anymore. <laughs> I guess not. I'm gonna stick with that one. Right, why am I even uh, looking through that? We already are over capacity. Why would you take... Well, okay. I'm kind of kicking their ass, funnily enough. To be honest. I was, oh, never mind. I was gonna see if I can find some like learn smaller armies of them, then that thing appears. And they're gonna go defend that. That might be a big battle we can hop into. Yeah, pretty much. Stop there, mate. So you might want to. I'm gonna give him the money because that. How? Why did he get out of the at? What? Oh. Yeah, they didn't actually... What are they waiting for? Yeah, that's another thing. I've seen, uh, like, my uh, part when I was doing the service as a soldier. Like, I would raid... We would raid the settlement. And then a big army would show up. And they would just sit by and do nothing. Which, like... Okay, now I think they joined into the battle. Let's see if we can deal with the army of 350. They are running away, so we probably can. Well, good day to you. So who might you be? Oh, right. <laughs> of course. We can't attack him. The fuck? Okay. Sometimes the map looks like it's all war. Uh, Warhammer, so like they're gonna expand like here and whatnot, add new factions. But the wrong game for that, right? Okay. Three hundred guys over there. Two hundred here. You should reunite the Roman Empire. I did that in the last playthrough. Of course, we're going to play as Romans at some point again. I'm probably going to do... Uh, 
like all the other factions again. Well, except Carthage, of course. Then play as the Roman Empire again. Maybe once a couple more mods come out. There's one that, uh, they, I think it's called Imperium. It changes the government type to like actual republics. So you can have a console each year, a different console each year. So the clan that has the most influence becomes the leader of, for that year. That would be fucking perfect. You actually reform the republic. 500 defenders. Hmm. I'm thinking I grab like this area here for myself. Then uh, for my own faction. That would be the idea, but I do need a lot of companions who can actually lead armies for that. I'll see. I don't want to expand too much because it's going to be hard to actually... It'll be hard to actually stay alive. If I do form my own faction. He will pay tribute, sure. Because this is just having playthrough playthrough after playthrough of Rome, like conquering the map would be uh a bit too samey. A bit too easy because eh, not much can deal with uh, the old Scutum and the. Uh, I don't forget the name of the sword. Gladius action. 341 defenders. Let's check up here. Of course, the AI already fucks us over the policies. Yeah, I forget. I got, forgot about that. Yeah, settlement loyalty. Yeah, let's lower it more. Let's lower, lower it further. Oh, God. They're both going there. I can't really stop them. Unless... Fuck. That's not a problem if you don't form an army early on. Everybody else snaps up the lords. If I could snipe one of these, that would be good. Not sure if I'm gonna pull all, all of those into battle. Stop there, stranger. You're dead, stranger. Now, I'm probably going to do Eagle Rising at some point again once they add the, actually add the uh, Greeks in. Or Macedon the Greeks, Macedonians. And they need to add the Parthians in. And I guess the Germanic tribes, because we do have Gallic, which are Batania, Batania Dacians, which are the Vlandians. Oh god, it's a village battle. And what was the other one? The surgeons are still left. Be modded. Hey, look at that. These surgeons are actually like forming three infantry lines. Too bad that this doesn't really help them, but then, you know. It doesn't do anything for them, actually. Makes it even easier on us. There's also a couple of mods like uh, Garrison does something or something like that. Garrisons do something, which I want to add. I also could have a look at the Game of Thrones mod. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I like watch Game of Thrones because I haven't watched Game of Thrones. Then I'll do the Game of Thrones mod. Would be about time, right? Because there are giants in that mod. Which do actually like kill three or four guys per swing or per an attack. Alright, we're using the Pelum as a spear.
Goddamn trees, always in the way. No, no, that's it. I was wondering, don't I have like a sword? But no. Right, I need to up the difficulty as well at this point. Mm. Like here, you would want to like place your force archer somewhere where they can shoot at the enemy, but the uh, problem with that is there's a whole lot of fences and buildings. And I would reunite the Empire. That's the thing, I can't remember in, in Burning Empires mod, the uh, like Byzantine era Rome that is there. Is that is it divided or is it just one faction or is it three factions? Okay, I can't remember. No, yeah, I think it's a divide. Yeah, it's divided into two, right? Like the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire. Uniting Rome in that one, I, I think is that what we're gonna do? Because I think I stopped playing that at some point because it just kept crashing. We'll do that next, I guess. Or we could do that next. For Benload. Ben Benload. Benload. Ben 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 English. Got that. Bug Lords. gonna take for fucking ever I also thought we were gonna have more issues with the uh, Sergian infantry just because you know they are heavily armored and their shields are pretty good oops Surging line breakers. I like to see that one guy who actually manages to use line breakers correctly, like a, as a shock troop. Like pulling that off would be amazing. I'm just gonna let the troops deal with the enemy. Right, well, I think the Sturgeon is actually going to be a pain in the ass just because they are in the trees, in the woods, mountains and such. get a ton of influence and renown from these battles too. Even though they are now numbering them. And only 5k experience from troops. Right. Still, these banners, like... They suck. So let's pick everything up. And I'll leave a couple of things for the experience. Uh, Ryan, the only problem with the Burning Empire is what it hasn't been updated actually yet. So that may be an issue until it gets an update. Well, it was an update on Mod B, I should say. I'm not sure if it's updated actually. God damn, they outnumber us by a shitload. Right, uh, campaign options Warrior.
I don't, uh, can we, can, we need to peel off some of those to actually fight. Oh, yeah, go besiege that. See what happens when you get sandwiched. Fucking stupid AI. How big is this army? 500. That's not enough. Although, since they are mainly infantry, we might actually be able to face them. I think you sell everything except this guy. Actually, let me check this. Alright, I want to make sure I... Okay, those we don't actually need. Let's check this as well. Right, we still don't even have a governor. Okay, build that. We're gonna build everything up. Dump 100k in here again. And we're just gonna keep uh, on increasing loyalty and infrastructure. I guess that's uh, gonna help us a little bit with the public order. Just because we can literally brute force it. Right, and garrison. I want to pick up uh, some infantry. These are high tier. Let's see. How many can we actually get? Okay, we can get the decent ish amount. Maybe we can actually do something. Another guy's gonna get wrecked. Or this guy's gonna get wrecked first. Oh, fuck. Run away, you idiot. Run away. If I could peel one of these armies off, that would be... Okay, one, not all of them. Funny enough, they, they don't go in on him. Never mind. Yeah, see, see, this is weird. They should go in on that battle, but they're not. You have side, difficult, side difficulty penalty of parties in force. Prison lords are 50% likely to desert from your party. You should say escape, right? When stationary for a while, increase sight range. Who the hell stays stationary in this game? Ah, it pulls them all in. Fuck. Rep you. Come here. Should be able to pull these without them help getting into the battle. Why? Yes, there we go. Who needs ar archers when you have horse archers, right? Keep the infantry like that. Get the archers in the back. Right, I need to tell these guys to attack the infantry specifically. Except there's three infantry. Fuck. There's three infantry lines. Oh, 
I guess let's tell him to kill the archers first. Get the actual horseman to attack the archers. They do have a lot of skirmishers actually. They do have one infantry line actually protecting them as well. Look at that. Infantry, like to there, get the archers there. May need more arrows. cab battle more than anything else Just staying over there. Get them like lined up there. Cavs almost gone. Not sure what they what they're exactly gonna do with the three infantry lines, to be honest. Curious. Finally, someone with some taste. <laughs> what do you mean with that? Like the horse archer thing? Is that it? Oh god. Game wise? Yeah. Well, the battle did fall off quite a lot. There was more content before it, before it actually launched, which is always funny to me. Everybody playing Fortnite Call of Duty? Yeah, well, they are free to play. I guess. That makes a big difference these days. Most played games are the free to play ones Apex Legends and uh, whatnot. Fortnite, Modern Warfare, and the. I uh... always forget what the, what the uh, Battle Royale mod is called. Mod. I 
take some ban load or anything while I'm rolling my load. I'm not so sure I'm gonna win this one. If you know we need to get rid of their arches, that's for sure. Why did he put... Okay. Right, he gets rid of the shield for some reason. And what the fuck's up with the snow, man? Wait a minute. The reinforcement spawned on two sides. What the fuck, game? Come on. And the reinforcement spawned in the water over there, which I thought was uh, an invisible wall. Now that's a big problem. We're running, running out of ammunition already. Infantry is non existent anymore. Archers out of here. Actually, everything out of here. Let's see where we at. There's yeah, there's slow mo when you have more. Well, when you have categories of troops. And there's also a mod which you can use to you know make slow mo a thing. The RTS camera mod, but I use it to like increase the speed. That's the RTS camera mod, by the way. Okay. Let's get everyone in the back somewhere. See what the enemy is going to do. Try and knock off some of their horsemen as well. Now we play the warband. Well, don't buy this yet, I'll, I'll say that. Wait for all the mods to get polished and whatnot. Because there's also a problem where a mod, uh, like, a game gets updated and it screws over your mod files and whatnot. For the, uh, for the uh, old realms mod, the Warhammer mod especially. So maybe give it like a, a year or two more before everything gets fixed up. Of infantry, and yeah, we don't really have a way to deal with them. Look at that, the AI actually forming two groups of infantry actually worked out. Okay, no, it worked out for him. There's also this over the shoulder mod. Makes it look a bit more fancy. Ah, I see what the role is. The reinforcement uh, gave me skirmishers into the archer or to the horseman line. Why I download your social life ends? Yeah, who needs a social life these days, right? <laughs> We're all about to die due to World War Three, probably. Well, 
What I could do also is... Uh, yeah, let's see how this works. You can abuse the game mechanics a little. That's one way to look at it. Yeah, literally. <laughs> We can abuse the game mechanics and just get all our uh, ammunition back. Still didn't have, like figure out how we're gonna go about this. Then again, uh, I think Sturgeons are the only ones who actually make the infantry line so far. Well, shit, shit. Snap the shit out of me. You have no... No care whatsoever. The Leech Lord died? Yes, but the RTS camera gives you command of uh, some other... Other one of your troops. So you can still actually command the units. Because unlike Warband, you can't... Command units once you die. Which is uh, awful when you see what the AI does with them. That was a bad idea. Forward! Rather have these guys following me, following my ass. This is the Eagle Rising mob, which adds Romans into the game, if you haven't noticed. Romans, Dacians, Gaul Gauls, and uh, Carthaginians, and Scythians. You can also, like, command units in the, like, RTS camera mode here. You love Carthage. I hate them. I will never play as them. How can you play as the child child here killers? Carthage, yeah. Or Cartago. Yeah, maybe this is better just to plop my arches on the horse arches on a you know, behind the enemy lines somewhere on the flank and just shoot at them. Looks like it's gonna work out for us. with the elephants yes let's actually get them like here so we can shoot at these well enough like when i played david and tempera which is a mod for room 2 of war he just ran head first hannibal himself ran head first into some spears <laughs> that worked out for him but just for the ambition Oh, come on, man. Rome achieved much more. They're the ambitious, ambitious ones. Carthaginians had lots of, lots of time before the Romans ever actually started the war machine up. I'm actually surprised they're not trying to, like, you know, reach my horse arches. out of ammunition and ideally I'll get like more than 10 kills with this guy or no wait a minute 
This is already... This guy's already a companion, probably. Yeah, focus on me, boys. Don't mind the hail of arrows coming at you. idea with the Roman well not idea but the Romans did have like shrines to their ancestors in their homes well of course the big you know wealthy families and all that and, like you would also hear stories what they have they have done what they have achieved so you would always have that at home you always have something to push you to do better than they did or achieve more than they did the whole society was run on ambition Before it went to shit, of course. As I was... Ooh, 14 kills. Nice. Uh, what do we need? We need an engineer. So engineering. I guess we can make him the infantry leader. Tactics. Ragur Greenleaf, yeah, that's a very city in name. Then we got the bunch of troops here we can pick up. Noise. If I oh, can only remember which ones are the actual. Which ones are the actual like elites? Okay, Bannerman, those are now. Horse Prince. Wait a minute. Uh, Warlord Oathbound. I think Oathbounds are also elites. A bunch of prisoners. They are divided by tiers here, so we should. Grab the best ones up here, horse lords, or as many as you can, as. Okay, that's all we can hold. Yeah, we're gonna have this guy lead the uh, melee archers. Great. Yeah. I think I, yeah, I think I'm leading the horse archers, so we could set this guy up to lead the archers or the infantry. He should have good enough stats for that. Not a decent dash. Would be better if we get an actual infantry man to lead the uh, infantry, of course. some of this so we can actually get the experience. Okay, there we go. Cool looking fella. Yeah, the armor we get for, well, these like hats look like shit, to be honest. So I picked up the Roman uh, wolf skin helmet.
Okay, we peeled off the biggest one. Now we can run away. Where are they heading next? The Pin uh, Pinoza Castle. Which one's that? Okay, that one. Yeah, I need to let these guys go and uh, recruit another army, possibly. No, the Empire declares war on us. That's kind of what I want. I want to take some of their shit. Oh, I forgot about this. We can abuse the fact that the prisoners are being sent here. And just sell them off. Make infinite money. No need for blacksmithing or trading or any kind of other bullshit like that. You're gonna waste your time. And that's how you get money. Okay, speed? No, I do I do like having more maneuver than actual speed. Yeah, well, look, look at the helmet we're supposed to like take for this. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah, have fun. Thanks for hopping on. The helmets just look a bit off. A little bit off. They, they look like what they're supposed to look like, right? I just don't like the look of it. Oh, increase loyalty one per day while you're in a settlement in your own. While you're in your own settlement. It could actually be pretty, pretty useful, but the renown gain from battles increased by. Oh, I think we have to take this one. We've got two skill points. Um. We're going to be selling a lot of prisoners, so we might as well dump it into the roguery skill. Let's see if we can uh, get the peace treaty with the... Sturgeons. I don't really want any of their land. But of course, fighting Romans is going to be a pain in the ass. Not sure why they're having their own settlements rebel against them, though. That's a, that's a bit odd. Like, you know, if it weren't theirs, it would make more sense. So the cult, because the culture wouldn't be the same. <laughs> the culture changed there pretty quick. If I can take all of this for myself, then it's going to be easy to, like, uh, break off. And we're going to redo... Let's see here. We do have an engineer. I didn't select things from for myself. Shit. That doesn't matter. That much. Okay, we, we need to have a medic, we need to have an engineer, we need a... How many parties can we have? Seven already. Christ. <laughs> we can have 16 out of 9, of course. We can already have seven parties. I mean, we grab a governor first, then we go for the... Um, Grab a governor first, then we go for the uh, actual party leaders. If we can, that is. Also, I don't, I'm not sure why this is happening. Like, the game is setting up, setting me up as, you know, either a quartermaster or some sh other shit. In the party. Yeah, look at that. Uh, 
not a death masses, but it is a bit annoying. All right, no, we're not gonna have any uh, parties around because they all got wrecked. You son of a bitch. Of course, I wasn't looking at the thing. He gave me money to not attack him. Oi, 5k to not attack him. How about no? And he actually surrendered. I called away. Where are these guys going? Or nearer to besiege? Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, the uh, our friends are gonna go besiege a settlement that rebelled instead of actually defending our territory here. And where are the armies then? They're all they are only at war with us. This has only 200 defendants. Maybe I could actually take it. Maybe, maybe we get an army to come here and join us. Come on. What's up, crawl? Come on, come on. No, no, no. God damn it. Shit. Okay, we're kind of fucked here. Yeah. No, never mind. He turned around. He changed the paste, and the performance is not better at all, is it? If we only we could catch up to some of these fuckers. It's better. Okay, well. Warhammer's not crashing. Good. God damn, that helmet looks fucking awful in this game. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Look at that shit. So the temps are down and Warhammer is not crashing. That's good. What? Your, 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 your PC shouldn't crash. It should, just should, uh, like... Lower the... Uh, Let's get him to lead the infantry. Should just uh, like throttle itself. So like lower the clocks. But I tried all realms today. And I'm super pissed. I was pissed. I got into the, and lagged for like 20 minutes. And then you alt F forward. I have no patience today. Well did you like build the shader cache and all that? And they also like the campaign map. It maxes out the 3070 I have. Like, no joke, it like packs it at 100%. That's 60 FPS max. So it's, it's something about the mod just taxes the G GPU a hell of a lot more than it should. Let's see if you can wreck him with only the horse haunches. Right, building the sh I'm not sure if the sh building the shader cache actually works. Like, uh, when I streamed it, I had to go in manually and, uh, like, click on every character and my troop tree and all that to load in the textures. 100 damage and he still lives. But 
it's not. Okay, they fixed that, I guess. But yeah, the campaign map does tax the PC a lot, for whatever reason. You can also lower the graphics a little bit. It was a little late, 2 a.m., and I finally got the shader cache, and I left the game, and everything restarted. What do you mean? Like, you had to do it again? You shouldn't... Like, if you don't do it once, you shouldn't... Uh, you shouldn't need to do it again, unless the game updates. I know what we should do with this guy. We should chop his head off. As we do... Like, welcome to the PC Master Race. What can I say? The more you know, the more problems you do have. Why is he not loading? Okay, there we go. That is the Emperor. Nice, Pompeius Lucius. Off with his stupid fucking head and the ugly helmet he has on. We cannot deal with that. Why is this? I don't know. Come on. Guess I'm gonna have to deal with that army on my own. You install the Eagle Rising. It's far better than... Uh, like, all realms isn't worth... It's... Like, you can mess about with it. But it's not really worth a playthrough yet. Like, you know. Where, who's left? Two hours? Four, 13 hours. Probably that guy. There he is. We should be able to save this. It's like unbaked bread. <laughs> so it's just sourdough, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be good. They're just, like like I said, they tried to add new things. I guess they didn't add too much stuff in this time round. They just added uh, Reichland and uh, one or more, two, no, two more uh, Empire factions. But, like, just stay there, polish all of those up so you can actually play and have a campaign. Then, like, move on to Bretonia Orcs and whatever the fuck they want. I think that's what they should do. Mod for Warband, that way more fun. Yeah, I was I was thinking I wanted to do a Prophecy of Pandor, play, another Prophecy of Pandor, Pandor playthrough. But the problem with that is that the game just frame skips for some reason on my PC. I just I can't get it to work properly. Horse Archer Galore, man. Two hundred Ifjimen and one hundred fifty nine horses. God damn. Guess I'm gonna have to wait till I upgrade or not upgrade, just buy an Intel CPU and switch platforms to see if that fixes up Warband. If it doesn't, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't fucking know what to do. I tr like tried all the fixes for it that are on the interwebs, but it just doesn't work for me. It 
Let's get the horses here so we can charge their infantry. Reinstall. Oh, yeah, I tried. Like, I tried installing the Steam version. I tried the GOG version because I have both. I tried the official, like, download of our Tale World's website. Then you just put in your key code. And I've tried the pirated version. It's still the same issue. Like, I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, it doesn't use the CPU. I, like, try locking it to one CPU core and all that shenanigans. And still is just the same. I don't know what the fuck to do with it. Like, that's been happening since I updated to, like, Windows 7, I believe. Or, no, not Windows 7. Windows 10, I guess. I got I have no fucking clue which horse archers are like which of these are mine I do have an idea here though to stay like behind the infantry so we can shoot the shit out of them Okay. Or actually, no, since I updated my PC, it doesn't run well. So since I updated to the Ryzen 3 700X and uh, 4 gigs of RAM and all, or 16 gigs of RAM and all that, 32 now, it just doesn't want to run fine for whatever reason. Like, it ran fine on my old quad core from like 2010 or whatever. Well, I mean, fine, you know, like, decent-ish, at least. Point-blank horse arches. Not really working all that well, because they are blocking us. Did they remove? Okay, never mind. Those are just horses. For a second there, I thought their reinforcement just spawned literally behind my ass. Land of Sika mod, yeah, I did uh, did play through it and I read all the dialogue and all that, and I was disappointing that it disappointed that it was that short. Why did it place the horse archers into what into the archer line? What the fuck, game? I mean, I do have the reinforcement waves set up so it, uh, like homogeneous, so it like fills out to everything. I level you this for first. Like hom homogeneous spawn units homogeneously uh, based on their troop types rather than their levels. This option will try, will try to fill up, fill the ranks with each type of unit at the same ratio and ignore their tiers. 